Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Journey Beyond the Abyss. Yes, that was... I, I just had to go and check something in the village real quick before I started recording, so they're spamming my chat a little bit. Ah, so, we have a lovely amount of lives today, and we have all our stuff back. I'm still on cloud nine about that, so let's just advance our plot a little bit. We need to make a ton of steel to make a Tinker's Anvil. Yes, nothing to it. Just need to... Apparently, according to Austin, this recipe is not intended. It's bugged. Hmm. Also, I need to put that over in my backup gear. But everyone's using it, and he seemed to be debating on if he wanted to keep it or not, so we'll use it for now. In recompense, we'll be working our way up to something better anyway. So, just need to plunk that on in there, and we need to remember to extract one block before we automate the rest just poured out. And yes, we're making this Tinker's Anvil, presumably because we're going to be making the iron plate. And, yeah, I'm going to need a new hammer. I'm going to need a new hammer for that. Might as well just make that now while we're waiting. There we go. Just two refractory balls. Two tier two. I presume they're two or twos. And it looked like five diamonds. No, they are tier ones. That's impressive. Well, I, I guess, yeah, they would have to be tier ones because you're using them to build the thing to get you the tier twos. And that makes sense. And we'll just throw out this old one. Ah, there we are. Now yeah, pour out one block of steel. And for the rest, once it's all poured out and once it's all alloyed, just a go. And that should get us our anvil nice and easy as you please. Now, I think that I will in fact make make something a little bit fancier than just a hole in the ground. I'll make the brick forge. Why not? It doesn't cost terribly much. Really, the only thing about it is it's going to cost uh, it's going to cost us this. It's going to cost us the furnace. But we've made lots of furnaces. It's not a huge deal. Oh, right. Been been long enough since I've crafted one that I kind of lost track of the recipe. There we go. Part one. And now I need more refractory bricks. Huzzah! Been a while since I had to say that. Let's just, uh, do I have any limestone? I don't seem to have any limestone, so let's just make these into our, into our necessary bricks. Put that off because we're on a tiny bit of a schedule at the moment. Not really, but. Oh, right, igniter. I forgot I had luxury there. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so I'm gonna need sixteen well sixteen of these and gonna need four of these. There we go. And from there it's just as simple as three more iron. And I think it's five more of those. And there's our furnace. Now it's just going to need one, two, three, four, five bricks. And two pieces of glue. Yes, this... Oh, three pieces of glue, pardon. Yes, this is just a more compact and controllable way of smelting up your metal for hammering. And from there, for the anvil, 
I'm just going to need two pieces of glue. Oh, and the block. Yes, lovely little riveted block of iron. There we are, and that is quest complete. And you have served us well, Copper Anvil, but it is time for you to be replaced by the new hotness. Yeah, sure, just have it in the same area. Why not? Put that right there. No, I can't have it right there, because that would build up that would build up uh, wood chips. So right here, sure. Now, we need to make an iron plate. I think in order to make an iron plate, we just need two iron. Let's take a look at that on the anvil. Now, let's look it up. Plate. Da, 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 da. So many things called plates. Tooltips not helping. Oh, no, it's just the one. Okay. Okay. So, where? Aha! Okay. Let's get that iron a heating up. And as you might expect, you just put it in there and you let it go. Why, you know. I've used this thing before, I swear. Does it require a redstone signal? Why, you know. I received a guidebook from forging at one point, didn't I? Yeah. Anvils, working rules, brick forge, burn solid fuel similar to a furnace that heats up any items. To use, place some fuel in the bottom slot, then right click with any fire starting device. Oh. That makes sense. It still needs ignition. You know, I don't think I've ever read through the rules section of that to see if it says anything useful about the art of forging working rules, using the different working buttons, satisfy the rules, complete a forging recipe, da da da. Yep, yeah, that's just about everything that I already knew and no actual helpful tips there. I don't know if it heats up any faster in this thing than you would otherwise expect, but it is at least easier to take the charcoal out and you can put more of it in. And uh, yes, expect some derp because this is a recipe I have no memory of, no idea how it's going to go. So we're just going to have to do some science. I might as well put another uh, another ingot or two in there just in, for when I inevitably fail. And in the meantime, let's sort out our rewards. Dirt clumps! Huzzah! Apparently hitting pollution with them does nothing. As you would expect. How is our pollution filter doing anyway? Ah, it's burned through an entire piece of wool. Yeah, those things last a little while, at least with the kind of throughput we're getting right now. Later on, it can get a bit more problematic. But thankfully, later on, after much research and many tears, I have figured out a way to automate these things. Alright, so... Plate. 
it needs to hit any, draw second last. So hit, draw, punch. Hit, draw, punch is what it needs to do there. So I guess the first step is to see where that takes the arrow. So arrow starts here. If I do hit, draw, punch, I moved it like about that much. So I need to be like here-ish, I guess. Okay, so shrink, maybe a bend and a hit draw. No, oh, it's already lost its heat. Yep, these these science work on this is a little bit. Uh, okay, so a hit, a draw, and a punch. No, that didn't do it. That was close though. That was real close. So where the heck was I when I did that last experiment? Let's see. I think let's do a shrink. And an upset. No, that's probably too much. Hit, draw, punch. Yeah, that's way too much. The heck? A little bit of a bug there. Let's work from a version piece of metal for our continued science. So, let's try upset. Hit, draw, punch. No. Let's try... Uh, bend, hit, draw, punch. Close. Very, very close. So, like, I know that, I know that the two sides of the, like, this is not equal to this. But which way is the, which way does the inequality go? Like, if I do bend, hit, bend, hit. I'm moving forward this way, which is the opposite way that I need to go, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, so hit, draw, punch, close. Hit, draw, punch. What? But, but what? Did I... What did I do wrong? Oh, it's not set to plate. Why did it get unset from plate? Ugh. God damn it. Okay, throw these out. Start all over. They're messing with me at this point. Need to make sure it's set to plate. Need to take this thing off so I don't get heat stroke. Need to remember to put that back on before I get drowned stroke. Not that it particularly matters all that much anymore, now that we have a path to immortality available. Okay, so... Bend was too much. Punch would not be enough. Hmm. What if I did 2x hit for my hit? So, upset, 2x hit, draw, punch. And I really only need to get this once. If I can get this down once, then I will be golden, because I can just make a cast of the damn thing and do this with the smeltery forever after. And I think this should be the last time I ever need to use the anvil. So you, you get to see my derp on full display one last glorious time here. Oh, joys and wonders. Hmm. 
It really doesn't look like the pollution has dissipated much, has it? There shouldn't be any escaping anywhere. Hmm. I need to make some pollution filters for the village. Yeah. Okay, so that's... That's not too bad. Let's get, like, a stack of iron. Might as well be working on something semi-frivolous while we're waiting on the metal to soften. Ah, yeah, good, and these ironclad anvils are lasting a lovely long time. It hasn't even begun to get damaged yet. And I think we're going to need some shards. Let's do... That many. No, just that many. A bit more than a stack. There we go. And then bar. Any eye is causing lag. Why? There. Not quite enough. More than enough shards, though. Okay, so. Upset or bend. 2x hit, draw, punch. No, that was too much. And I forgot to set it to the plate, goddammit. Okay. Set to plate. Oh, and it's in a completely different place, too. Okay, but uh, thankfully it looks like setting it to plate causes it to be worked. Okay. So that... That will allow us to... I now have to completely redo my science, of course. Derp. Okay, so... Uh, let's try... Shrink, shrink. Shrink. Hit, draw. God damn it. Draw, punch. Close. So. Or draw. No, no, no. Shrink, shrink. Shrink. Sh Loses heat so damn fast. Shrink, hit, draw, punch. Nope. Closing in on it, though. If we do the same pattern again, will we get closer or farther away? Uh. Oh, wait. Did... Sorry, lost track of where I was. Shrink, hit, draw, punch. Shrink, hit, draw, punch. Looks like I'm getting farther away. So maybe instead... Upset, punch, hit, draw, punch? No. Shrink, hit, Draw, punch. Close! Bend, bend, hit, draw, punch. Farther away. Bend, punch, hit, draw. No. Not even close. I am bad at this. I don't know what these numbers represent. Shrink. That's close. Hit. Draw. No. That's even further away. No. So. Hit. 
draw punch sends it quite a little ways back. So I need to be quite far forward of it. Like maybe... Maybe that far? Damn it. Well, no wait! It moves backwards with each repetition, so if I just repeat the pattern... Yeah, of shrink, hit, draw, punch, and then heat. Shrink, hit, draw, punch. No, that's moving. That's moving the same. Hmm. I thought I could swear it was moving backwards with each repetition. So wait, maybe if I shrink. To hit, draw, punch. Closer. So then maybe shrink, punch, hit, draw, punch. Close. Shrink, punch, hit, draw, punch. No, that's getting farther away again. But I might be lined up for a two hit. Shrink, two hit, draw, punch. Yes! Okay. You two can screw off. I apologize for the excessive derp. I am not good at the science there. But as I said, that is a science we only need to accomplish once, because right away we are going to make an easier way. Indeed. Thatch! Just what I wanted for Christmas. And we will uh, just melt down a steel ingot for the next quest of steel plate. Ah, we are advancing at a lovely rate. Good, good, good. There we are. Yes, plate cast. Most wonderful, useful little thing. Mm, wonderful. So we never need to do that hammering again. Really, I think that was the last time we were going to be using the Tinker's Anvil. Unless there's something in a farther chapter I don't know about. But yes. All the plates are now ours to melt. And not worth it. And now... Here's what we use the plates for. We use them for these mechanical components from the workbench that we built. So we need to make ourselves a bit of a mass castery. Hmm. You know, I think it might be time to upgrade the smeltery into its final form. So let's move these a little bit. So how do I want to do this? Well, hmm... There we go. Oh, I forgot I had these on hand. <laughs> Let's just put those away. Actually, those are just glowstone, so if I make them regular again, yeah, they'll fit right there. So, I think that what I'm going to want to do is first... Move this out of the way. First, I want to expand it as far this way. I'm going to keep it the same height. I'm going to keep it the same height. I'm just going to make it wider, chunkier. So, need to move kind of all my stuff out of the way. But we have built up a lovely collection of stone. Yes, 
if you are fully loaded up, you can sprint jump to move a little bit. But mostly you want to avoid that situation. Always be careful to check your smeltery whenever you are moving the controller, because that is the one thing that will delete the liquids inside. There we go. Really, did smell the sear bricks have to weigh that much? Annoying, I tells you. Okay, so and yeah, I think that's as far as I can reasonably take it. Well, it wouldn't disrupt the lighting if I move it up a level. But then I wouldn't have the tank on the bottom level for easy pour on that. No, let's not do that. Also, let's pick up our concrete, because this stuff is just such a pain to get. Really? The chiseled variants have to weigh so much more. Alright, and there we go. You just stay out of the way for a moment. And let's expand. So yeah, I can only expand the base out that far, because then the face will be here, and that'll... If I expand it one farther, it'll be cutting off the light. Oh, I missed a... I missed a decor. Well, that's easy enough to resolve. If I just... Doop, doop, doop. Doop. And... There we go. So then... I suppose we might as well move the controller up to the second level, just so it's at eye level. Minor convenience. Save you a little bit of, of neck strain. And we are going to have to move the drain. Let's just put that there for the moment. Well, we might have to move the drain. We're at least going to have to move the pour tap. Come on, game. It's still occasionally getting that lag whenever I enter a menu. Right, I don't need it there. I just need... There we go. Right, and of course I can't have this here. Oops. Right. That's most of the way. Now, unfortunately, I need to occlude this one lighting block because I need to move it back one space. Well... No, it, let's... Let's keep it like this. Yeah. Yeah, let's keep it like this and just move it forward again, one space. Either way, it's going to be occluding one of our light blocks, but it's fine. And uh, there we go. Just get out of my inventory, dang it. Pick up all our concrete. Even when we're overloaded, we can move reasonably fast these days just because we have the concrete on the floor. That is a nice feature. And a doop. And a boop. I would say it's inconvenient that I sometimes need to update my inventory, but we're kind of... It's it's a bug for a bug type situation. We're 
we're cheesing our way around it. That's just our punishment. I forgot to turn Discord off again. And there we have it. That should be a full 64 block smeltery. Let me just pick up a stack of something. Do I have a stack of ore? Pick up a stack of stone, sure. Stone is kind of our disposable test block, and I should be able to just chunk that in there with no free spots. Yep, we have a stack-sized smelter. Now let's just yeah, let's let's keep the block caster on that one. Bunny hop our way on over. And it can be right there. That's fine. Put all our garbage back in there so that we're not overweight. A dupe. A dupe. And yes, because block casting is something we do only very occasionally. It's okay if it's in the back out of sight. Speaking of... Well, I suppose I could have poured those out of seared bricks. I'm a bit short on those, I think. But there you have it. Full stack size smelter. Nice and ready for us to, uh... Right, for us to... I should have used... I should have put it on seared bricks. I still have time for that, right? Eh, yeah, that's a reasonable amount. Yes, because now I'm going to want to make more drains. Because that is what we are expanding the smeltery for. So that we can pour out more widely. And I guess in that case I need to make more hoppers, don't I? Well, I already have two here, so I only need two more. Because it's a, it's a four-wide fellow. Well, I could make it like... Let's see. Drain there. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's just do four. So I only need to make two more chests. And then I'm going to need two of these. Let's just get the torches off our hotbar and the... there. Also, let's put this back where it belongs. I suppose I really don't need those redstone torches anymore. I also I should plant these cactuses. I should plant those cactuses somewhere. I should also make an exit on this side, just for the sake of the... Uh... So not there, obviously. Maybe here? That works. Clear it out just so I don't immediately wander into a into a wall, stub my toes. Yes, just for the legacy, in case we ever need more sugarcane. And now, in case we ever need more cactus. There we go. And grab us a door. Lovely. Yes, there's a couple of features I'd like to put on this side, I think. Well, no, not necessarily. Hmm. I'd like to make an easy pour system for when I go to the blood bank, I think. Hmm. Then again, if I go to the blood bank, maybe... Maybe I'll just use metal barrels, because we're about to unlock the means of getting those, right? Yeah, these metal barrels. Uh, not uses recipes, please. 
Yeah, they're relatively easy to make. They just require a bunch of iron sheet metal. Yeah, these are no problem. These hold 32 buckets of liquid, and best of all, if I use immersive engineering fluid pipes, which are easy to craft, now that I have a plate cast, they will just automatically pour out the bottom. So what was I up to? I was making chess. I was making chess. So I need 16 of these. And I'm going to need 24 of these. A little bit heavy on the glue, but that's life for you. There. And now in order to turn those into more hoppers, just going to need two glue, ten wood, and four of those. I need more of those. Tier ones. I need more refractory clay after all. Okay. I am out of limestone. Okay. That's still pouring? Nope. What's the haul? Not bad. You know what? Let's head on over. You know what? Let's try and do a little bit of proper mining. Yeah, let me show you how this works. So, I'm going to need some fence posts. For that, I think it's just sticks and... Yeah, sticks and wood. Two stacks of wood, one stack of sticks. Make jungle fence. Just as much as that gives us. Now, let's head on down to the mins. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Turn on our F7 mode. There we are. And now I should be able to a bit more easily. Yeah. Get a little bit deeper. I'm not quite sure what level I want to be on. But either way, let's carve us a, a nice luxuriously decadent staircase. That should do it for now. Yeah, let's put the fancy pants on. And, oh, right, I had some stuff in there. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so, to mine safely and sanely, what you do is you take your fence posts, and let's, let's dig a little bit deeper in. Yeah, this'll do. So you lay them like this, and that will safe the uh, blocks for four spaces around it. So, four spaces this way. And one, two, three, four spaces this way. And we've already uncovered some limestone. And one, two, three, four spaces that way. No collapses, no problems. And so now I can just... Well, I shouldn't have put a... Put my torches on the other side. Like that. And that'll do. And I need to disinfect my torches. Which, ironically enough, is done by placing them on, on the earth. Bionization is funny like that. But yes... So now I'm safe to go four in this direction. 
And if you do mine upwards, make sure you have the block on there. It needs to have a block on top and bottom in order to act as a stabilizer. I don't think this limestone is prone to causing a collapse anyway. Ah, but yes, see, we are uh, we are on a different Z level than our stabilizer, so we're getting we're getting collapses. That is one thing to watch out for. Yes, in fact, I think if I climb up there and start digging this out, I might be in danger. So we can just build a kind of mini stabilizer right there. Lag spikes are getting out of hand. Really, I'm up to a stack already. Dang. And let's just throw the cobbled limestone out. And any more ore. I wonder what that weighs. But yes, it is just as easy as that, so long as you're placing these pillars every four blocks. Then you will be safe. And you can continue expanding out your mine shaft as far as you like. And nothing is going to hit you in the head. Huh. We ran across the Sunwell Mine. Yep. And that is just how you do mining in, the, in Journey Beyond the Abyss without getting your head caved in. Can I turn these into chalk? No, that just turns into cobblestone. Is there any way to turn those into chalk for decorative purposes? Not really. Okay. And let's just get rid of that. Oh, unfamiliar, you say. It says it's just stone. Hmm. And keep the rest. Ooh, some marble. Yes, now I need to consider, like, if I want to keep on to anything for decorative purposes. We're getting into the stage where I can consider that. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Diorite, smooth stone. We can throw out the gravel. Yeah. And let's just take 12 of those. Completely fail at laying it out properly. Just because that's how we do. There we go. And the rest of this. Well, I don't really have storage space for it, so never mind. Coal and bones, I won't say no to. Hmm. It is getting time to expand the storage system. Well, if I want to expand the storage system, I think I want to just get it on a whole other level. 
one thing you might have noticed is we have an alternate recipe for chess now. An alternate, much cheaper recipe. And all we need to do is work our way up to a carpenter. And it, it's a bit. These heavy engineering blocks are not easy. And... These sturdy casings are not nothing. It is going to be a bit. But I think that... Hopefully I can make my storage system stretch until I can uh, build those. So... What was I waiting on? To, ah, I was waiting on this to pour. Right, but I need to make my refractory clay so I can make my chest, so I can make my hoppers, so I can finish laying out my enhanced pouring system. Yes, that's what I'm on. Okay, cool. Yes, I constantly forget what the heck I was doing. I apologize. And you... Yeah. What's that doing? Hmm. There's a minor bit of decadence I could build for this now. It would be an intermediary system until I get fluid pumps, though. Hmm. Hmm. Ponder. Thank you. And a doop. 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 Excellent. And now just eight of these. I need to be melting some more clay. I need to be pouring more clay. And you know what? Let's just... Let's just upgrade these. It doesn't really make sense to be using one bucket at a time anymore. When we make these things, we kind of make in bulk at this point. So I'm going to need... That probably means I'm going to need to put more stone on the melt. You know what I could do? I could just use some of these. As many as I can carry. 16 is a nice even number. You have an ingot in you? Yeah. Okay. And right, right, right. Into here. Doop, doop, doop. That was too many anyway. I'll just hold on to them. Why did I think it used four? I don't know. Regardless, pour everything out and get everything cycling. Does that pour slower than the other taps do? Hmm. Or does it just have more to do? Questions. Regardless, it is more convenient. And convenience is kind of what I'm going for right now. Okay. Make myself a nice little ball of refractory stuffs. And there we go. And make it all into... Yeah, because we spent our stock of balls completely. And we're low on bricks anyway, so we'll use what we'll use. And that should be it. There. That's a lovely amount of sticks. And... 
and now I just need two glue and ten wood, and I need to put my artisan's tools back where they belong. Sneaky little things, always trying to get into my pocket. They miss their they miss their dad. There we go. And from there. So, I'm gonna wanna make. Gonna wanna make. Has this melted down yet? Yes, it has. So. Gonna wanna make four of those tables. And four drains. So yes, I don't have enough yet. Gonna need to let that kind of build up. But in the meantime, let's just take one of these. But let's soup it up. Because it's cheap to do so anyway. So we'll put that at the end of the line over there, and then like that, and then like that. So then we'll just have drains up there. That works. And I may only have one lever left, but one lever should... Oh, no, I have two levers left, in fact. But still... That should be enough if I simply do that. No, that's a problem. That's a problem. Hmm. Well, if I hit it there. Well, no, that's not what I want. So if I do it. No, that wouldn't work. Hmm. Yeah. Gonna need to move that. Well, no, I could just have a second lever here. It's janky, but oh well. But yeah. If I hit this, yeah, that activates that. And that should activate all the taps if they're right. Well, no, that would only be if they're on this level, I think. We'll, we'll test it. We'll test it. We will do a little bit of science. So... Four and that must have been why I was thinking of twelve seared bricks. Regardless, uh, yes, I need to. I, I was premature in my dust placement anyway. No, it would need to be on this level, wouldn't it? Well, you know, that does save us the trouble. So yes, we just need to move this whole thing up a level. That's fine by me. Looks a little bit janky floating in the air, but... You know, that might allow us to do something to input blood in more easily, too. Okay, so... There, 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 there. Yeah. And then there, 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 there. A uh, herp, a derp, a derp, a derp. A uh, derk, a derk, a derk, a derk. And from there. Yeah, that's out of range of that one down there. 
need one more dust. Put our lever right there. Covers up the hole anyway. Very aesthetically nice. Yeah, see how they're leading into it now? Okay, so now all we need is the cast, which I should have been working on, I suppose. Yeah, put this back where it belongs. So I'm going to need eight gold. And we might as well just... Well, let's not use the steel. Let's... Let's put a ton of iron in there. Make a ton of iron plates. I shouldn't say a ton of things because this this game now literally has weight, a weight system. So I could literally be talking about tonnage of goods. Hmm. Oh well. But yes, you see what I'm going for here? It's it's just, it's real simple. It's just, you know, we'll have a single switch for, so that we can mass cast out. And maybe I'll have a spare ingot, a spare four ingot cast too, just so that we can mass manufacture more quickly. Because we are going to need a lot. We are going to need a lot, a lot. But yeah, I suppose that... With this layer now free, I could make some drains to input blood more easily. Eh, that might be, that might be, that might be too much decadence for the moment, because we're using blood fairly rarely. Hmm. And by the time we need more, we might have better means. So, hmm. Do oh I should turn that off. Twa and quatra. And then down on here, switch the system back to gold. And start getting us some casts. There we go. Isn't it beautiful? And from there, we just need to dupe, 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 and a dupe. Beautiful! Synchronized casting. Wonderful. And indeed, yes, they are all finding their way down there. So... Smeltery has been improved, plates have been achieved, and now we are building a nice stock of them. Wonderful, wonderful day. Let's just uh, get us some copper. Get us some of these plates, of which we already have a nice collection. And as easy as that, we can just put them in this table, get some iron mechanical components. Our very first ones of very, very, very many. And, yep. From there, we just need to... Uh, let's see. I could be making tons of steel for tons of steel components in the smeltery. But like I said, Austin Supercar said that recipe is a little bit bugged. It's not intended. So maybe I'd like to try and move past that, I think. So what's it going to take to make a blast furnace? Eh, it's going to take blaze powder. How do you get blaze powder? Buy a blaze rod and a crusher? How do you get a blaze rod? Buy a thermionic fabricator. Hmm. So yeah... It might be a hot minute before we can do it a more legit way. Well, regardless, I think we've made lovely progress for the day. I'm going to call it a night. You all have yourselves a lovely evening.